I'm really loving this tractor. It is a pleasure to operate. I'm not a massive man now, but oh, that there's that impressed me. Harold, thanks for calling in with us. How are we getting on? Good. How are you, Gary? Good, thanks. Good. We have a 7719S behind us that we have from local dealer, Michael Derry's. Yeah. Been doing a few jobs with her there. We've had her on the baler uh, merger and did a little bit of mowing with it, but probably was a little bit overkill for that job. But yeah. yeah. We've been trying her out anyway. I'm loving the tractor. That's how we like to hear it. Good. Can you talk us through her a little bit, where she is in the range and what type of tractor she is? Yeah, 7719 uh, VT transmission. So it's only the VT that's offered in the 7719. 190 horsepower, but you're boosting up to 210. It's the biggest tractor in the small chassis 77, if that makes sense. Yeah. Then you would have been going to your 7720 and up, which, as you know yourself, will be phased out for the new 8S tractor yeah, uh, yeah. that we just launched last month. I didn't realise that the 19 is only available as a VT. Yeah, yeah it's only available. So on the 7718, you have your Dyna 6 or, or, or VT, and then mm -hmm. when you go to your 7719, it's just a VT. What spec is the this one? The tractor behind us here, it's uh, an efficient spec tractor, but it's it's spec'd up pretty nice. The, the data 5 screen is added onto it. You've got your LED lights, you've got your higher spec cab suspension, front linkage. It's a nice spec tractor. Would that be like a mid-range yeah. cab? Yeah. So you have a, a higher... You can go to your higher higher spec, which is an exclusive spec, which would be all electric spools, screen as standard. Um, this spec is probably more popular for us over this side. Customers still like to have mechanical spools mixed with some electric spools as well. It's a nice mix to be fair. It is, yeah. It's a nice tractor when you yeah. get it in the field. Yeah, uh, it's the, the joystick, uh, I like the joystick for the spools and yeah. it is nice just to have one that you can just reach for. It all, uh, it all, look at it, all comes to hand. You can set that tractor up whatever way you want. Yeah, um, yeah. Through headland management, through the screen or through the multi, multi pad or through the joystick, you can set it up whichever way you want. Yeah, and it's the sort of tractor that somebody could just jump in and drive to. Yeah, look, there's people overcomplicate VT tractors. You can drive it in stick mode, pedal mode. That's it. It's as simple as that to drive, whatever the operator prefers. And even your cruises there are very easy to set. Correct. Yeah. 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 Look, if you if you get that tractor working with your on the road on pedal mode, it's it's a very nice tractor to drive. So it is. And even in in the field, I probably say you'd work it in stick mode in the field. Do you find the VT has become more popular in recent years or? Uh, it is, it's grown all the time, um, but there's always a place and will be for, for the Dyna 6 transmission, Dyna 4 and Dyna 6. Maybe for some of the bigger tillage veg guys, they like the, the VT transmission. Um, but look, there's still still a place for our Dyna 6 transmission. The new model has raised a few eyebrows. I don't know, that's mixed. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm looking forward to seeing one. Yeah. So you'll maybe bring us one when you get one, will you? Sure, we'll do our best anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about it. Is it a totally new tractor or is it just a cab? No, it's completely new. It's It's been worked on for many years. We launched it in July there. 
Um, so there's four models to start with. That's not to say there mightn't be some more in the pipeline. Completely new tractor, so new cab, everything inside is new. Uh, transmission, so there's some more options. So you have three options uh, will be available for the 8S. We're excited to see it over here and there's a, a lot of people asking and inquiring about it, waiting and wanting to see the yeah, machine yeah, in the field. Yeah. So. You're excited about it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, yeah. We've been waiting on it a good while and it's um, it's created a quite a stir out there. I seen there with the the AS tractor you can actually do a a virtual tour. Is that's that right. correct? Yeah, that's right. That's right. If you just visit us online, so massyferguson.co.uk and you follow your way into the AS section and you can take a virtual tour. So you can completely walk around the AS tractor. The 7719 behind us has been a demo tractor yep. for Michael Derry's this yep. year and yep. anywhere it has won, it's been very popular. It seems to have won down very well with a lot of local contractors around here and we've eventually got our hands on it now and it hasn't disappointed. Um, That's what we like to hear. Yeah, <laughs> so we're planning to use the tractor on the McHale Fusion here actually to do a bit of baling for charity. So that's our plans with it. Harold, would you mind talking us through the 7719 inside? Just yeah. Yeah, talk no us through problem. a few of the features so that we can our viewers can see. Yeah, no problem. Okay, um, just a quick run through on the setup and driving of 7719 VT. It is a simple tractor to set up and drive. So the main way of driving it, okay, drive it in stick mode or pedal mode. So when I say stick, you can drive it here, push the stick, tractor goes faster, pull it back, tractor slows down. Simple as that. You can drive it over here, so you've got your plus and minus, so you hold it, tractor speeds up press the minus, tractor slows down, okay? So obviously you've got your power shuttle in forward. Stick mode at the minute, so you switch between stick and pedal with your outside button beside the window. As you gradually push on the stick, your tractor's speeding up. The other main thing to think of on the VT, so you've got your stick mode or pedal mode, so that's it into pedal mode, you push on the foot throttle, tractor takes off. You can also set it in what's called DTM, Dynamic Tractor Management. So what that does is it gives you an eco uh, rev on the road or even in the field. Um, if you're disking or, or cultivating, you don't have to set your rev, you can just leave it with DTM on and your tractor will deliver the revs uh, that you ask for by pushing on the stick. Okay, So that's the way I would drive all the VTs on the road switch on your DTM so it's the inside orange button make sure your max speed is all the way up get on the road and just away you go tractor won't move until you put your foot on the pedal and again the harder you push the harder the tractor goes so it really really are simple simple tractor to, to drive and to set up so again, if we change it into stick mode, so hit the button, still got DTM on, now I'm going to drive it, but I'm not touching the foot pedal. So the tractor will rev up itself because the DTM is switched on. And again, the harder you push on the stick, the harder it speeds up. So as I said, this is a, an efficient spec tractor. So how you know that, it's got two electric spools, on your SMS joystick. So you've got your multi-pad is an option on your efficient and your SMS joystick is also an option. Okay, that replaces your two fingertip valves. Along with that, you've got two mechanical spools. So that's probably the biggest or most popular option for us is an efficient and then spec it up. Okay. A lot of guys still like the mechanical spool valves. So, as I said, very simple tractor to drive. Stick mode, pedal mode, DTM on, DTM off. So if you haven't DTM on, you physically rev the tractor yourself. So if you're in the field doing a PTO application, 
you'd set your PTO, so set your rev, hold your engine A, and that's it stored. Simple as that, okay? This tractor also has front linkage and front PTO. And so here you've got four spools on the back. So one, two, three, four. And on the front, you've got front linkage and front spool. If you hit this little blue button here beside the, the spool valve, it's a direct swap. So now you've swapped one and two with six and seven. So now your front linkage and front spool is up here on the joystick. And because you have the screen, you can swap that again so that you could have a front and a rear mower all working on this joystick. On the multi-pad you've got your engine rev, your PTO on and off, linkage button up and down, your cruise one, cruise two and you've got a spool valve. Because we've got the screen you can choose whatever you want on that spool valve. One, two or front linkage or front spool. Headland management again it's a really nice option uh, certainly if you're doing some drilling work once you have your data 5 screen. A very quick look on the data 5 screen so it's very easy to go around. <coughs> so you're just swiping left to right. So an Isobus, if you plug in an Isobus implement, your camera, your main tractor page or your GPS page. Nice thing about our new GPS is it is very very simple again to use. can do go mode and within four steps you're up and running. So you set your implement, set your AB line and that's it, it's as simple as that. Okay. If we go back to the main tractor page, click on your main menu up in the right corner, you have all your different options here. So it's a very, very easy screen uh, to find your way around. So you've got some of the main ones that you would use quite often is your hydraulic page. So we've got two electric spools on the back. You can set your timers, uh, you can set your flow rate in there. Another nice one to have is your headland management. So you can create a full sequence in here and you can have absolutely everything working on your headland button. You only ever have to do it once because you can save your implements in here. Um, I see some of the lads have been messing with it already, Porky's bus. Uh, you can save different implements inside uh, in the screen. So what you would do is just the next time you hook on that implement, you come in, switch it on, so you can add a new one. So now you've got that implement set up, you can just press start and it's recording. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So once you set up your headland sequence the first time, it'll always save back to whatever implement you save on the screen. Another nice uh, menu you can use is <coughs> so your spool valve and your settings. So as I said, you can change, you have a front and rear mower all working on this SMS joystick. Um, you can change what configuration you want in the screen. Okay, so it's very very easy to navigate through. Isobus page, um, everything works through the one screen. So you can have your, you can have all your um, your guidance and your Isobus working on on your data five screen. Okay, so that's a very very quick run through. Um, people have the idea that the VT tractor is complicated and too hard to drive. Uh, you can just see, if you think about it, drive it stick mode, pedal mode, DTM on, DTM off. It's as simple as that to do.